Hey guys, it's Chissy Chris and welcome back to Until Dawn. I am really excited. It's been a couple days since I've played this game, uh, like three days, and I'm really hoping to finish it this week. So I'm going to have to see if I can squeeze in some time on Saturday if I don't finish it today. But man, this game is awesome and I got a haircut. Yay! It's so awesome. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let's get to this as I get all nice and comfy. Oh, it's been one of those days where I'm just like, I just want to sit in a sweater because I'm cold. So I'm sitting in a sweater because I'm cold. Yay. All right, let's do this. Previously on Until Dawn. Man, so much has happened. Oh my God, guys, thank God. What took you so long? It's not so good up there right now. Oh, he's gone. We're too late. Shh, quiet. Oh, hey, dude. Uh, yeah. It doesn't last very long. Wait. Don't move. I didn't move at all. I did not move at that part at all. Just <laughs> oh, clean off. What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down <laughs> to the mine. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room. It's the safe room. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. <sighs> so Maybe melodramatic. Right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Okay. Oh, okay, so now we're in Mike. Nine. Despair. Two hours until dawn. We're getting there. We're like two hours away. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I gotta remember all the controls. Hey. All right. Well, guess we're gonna go see if we can find Josh. I guess that's what we're doing. Little Joshy boy probably's got the keys. It's all part of his big elaborate joke scheme thing. Oh, oh! I can't walk over this. Oh, I can't walk over that. Oh, too much. Too hard for me. Can't do it. Too hard for me. It's really windy in here. There's a bit of a draft. If someone could fix that, that'd be great. Okay. There's nothing over here. Lock faster. Hustle, hustle, hustle. All right, I guess we're going in this big scary room. Or up these spooky stairs. Yay! <laughs> All right. So, is that actually what I'm doing? Am I actually... Get through the state of 3M to find Josh in the cable car key. Okay, that's what I thought. I just thought I'd check. Because the game, like, started off without any dialogue, which is kind of weird. Like, normally, it starts off with this kind of, um... Holy shit. With dialogue. Usually it doesn't jump right into the gameplay. Huh. Unless I don't think so. Unless I just haven't noticed until now. Oh, the wolves. Oh, the wolves! What about the puppies? Where are the puppies? Clippings wall. Okay. Um, local man found dead. Liars! Okay. Footprints found. Alright, interesting. Okay. Oh, look, a TV. Yeah, so we've been here before. This is that sanitarium that's connected to the house. Oh, there's that cigar that we found earlier. Okay. Ooh. Can't get around this chair. Oh my god, it's too difficult for me. Eh. Alright, where am I going? I'm supposed to be getting through the sanatorium, so I guess I'm just gonna... Well, let's try this way. And it's locked, naturally. Uh, it's 
so many locked doors in these scary games. Until you need them locked, and then they're like, why can't this door lock? Or close? Do it on purpose. Mm -hmm. Can I get around here? Yes, okay. What about this door? No? Okay, I would... Just, just kidding anyways, I didn't want to go in there. Here, no. Guess we're going upstairs. Sure. Okay. Come on, Mike. I'm surprised at how well that jacket fits him. I like a glove. Oh. Yeah, let's jump down this hole. Sounds like a great idea. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Oh, yeah. Woo, okay. So, I guess I can open it from the inside, but let's look at this. Weapons. Oh, do I pick? Oh, wait, no. Oh, no, it's just one. Okay, that reminds me of that scene in scary movie I think it is I think it's the first one where yeah because it's it's parodying scream and the girls in the house and there's like a table full of weapons there's like a katana a butcher knife a shotgun a sniper rifle you know just like a whole array of weapons and then there's a banana and the girl's like ah She's running through the house, like running from the killer. And then she's like, <gasps> and she looks at the weapons and she grabs a banana. <laughs> and it's probably, uh, I, I don't know. That's one of my favorite parts of the movie. It's so good. It's so good. I just need a pitchfork and a mob. Right? You don't really need to light that now, though, do you? I mean,. It's not that dark in there. Okay. Are you gonna grab the gun too? Cause that'd be nice. Oh yeah, grab a bunch of those. No, grab a bunch. No, go back and grab a bunch of those. You can't grab like a handful. Just shove a bunch of them in your pockets. I mean, really. This jacket has a ton of pockets. Fine. You're gonna regret not bringing more. Just saying. Okay. Can I really grab some more, please? No? Okay. Fine. Okay, so now I got weapons. Or a weapon. But now where do I go? Oh, am I gonna like shoot this lock open? I tend to do that. At Mike, as soon as he gets a gun, he's like, I'm gonna shoot everything open. Oh, was this? That was locked before, wasn't it? Or was it this one? That was this one, maybe. Maybe it was this one. Of course. Okay. No, 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 no. I, 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 cha I changed my mind. No, I don't wanna shoot. Now, now go back to the other room and grab, <coughs> grab a weapon, or grab more ammo. Wow, what happened to your teeth there? That was weird. You all right? Hi, puppy. Hi. Hey, big guy. Hey, you go be my friend. So you see me again, huh? Hi. Hey, puppy. Hey. I was hoping I'd run into you again. <gasps> or the puppy whisper. Good boy. Aw. Come with me. All right. Here's the plan. I happen to see a map of this place, so we're not flying blind. There should be a way through the psychiatric wing that'll take us right outside the mine. Dog's like. You can handle that. Sure. Couldn't say it better myself. The dog animation's a little weird. Ah, boy. I gotta say, yeah, it's a little, it's a little weird looking. Like, the close-up of the dog's face was... 
less than ideal. But see, this is what happens when we're nice to the puppy, because then he helps us. Don't be mean to animals or they'll be mean to you. That's what happens. Warning, this area closed off. Okay. Thanks for the sign. What? What is it? Okie dokie, boy. Calm down. What is it? Leave it growling yet. What? What's the matter? No, wait for me. Don't go so fast. Wish I could move like you, Wolfie. <laughs> Stuck on this side. <laughs> he called him Wolfie. <laughs> it's so cute. All right. There goes nothing. Do it, do it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, yay. Can we, can we squeeze in there? Oh, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Good thing we work out, we're skinny. See that? Moves. Yeah, just yeah, Wolfie. Right, Wolfie. Wolfie's just jealous that I got the moves and he don't. Oh, okay. It's weird how the camera angle changes sometimes, and it just throws me off. Wolfie, wait for me. I feel like I missed something up there, but eh, whatever. I'll feel. I miss a lot of stuff. And, and I noticed that. I watched a little bit of Markiplier's playthrough, um, and I was like, dang, I missed a lot. <laughs> I mean, obviously I didn't watch it till the end, because I wasn't finished it. <gasps> oh, no! Oh. oh. Son of a bitch. Poor Poppy. Aw, oh, baby. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, sorry guys. But I I realized something later. This dog symbolizes you know you know the black butterflies and the white butterflies? It's the same kind of thing. Like the black symbolizes death and the white symbolizes like it's not fortune. Which one is it? It's um Where is it? Totems. Um, oh, maybe it is the white ones. And yeah, the white ones equal fortune. So the wolves are kind of the same way. Like, the, the white one is a uh, prophecy of good fortune, especially because we are nice to it. And then the black one is the one that, like, attacked us and chased us. So I'm guessing it's the same kind of symbolism as the butterflies. That's what I'm guessing. I could be completely wrong. But that's my guess. <gasps> oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that. Oh, I saw that. Okay. All right, then. I saw that. Oh, boy. Okay. Did you guys see that? I hope you guys saw that. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Wolfie, well, you're gonna protect me if one of those things attacks me, right? I don't want you to get hurt or anything, but like, will you protect me? Oh, Wolfie, what's the matter? Wolfie, why are you growling? Wolfie, where are you? Wolfie, go back! Wolfie, don't leave me! Wolfie. Wolfie? Where am I going right now? Wolfie! Wolfie, why you leave me? Wolfie, I'm scared. All right, this is, is this where we? I, I have no idea. I don't know if I wanna keep going this way. I wanna look, I wanna, I wanna see what else there is. Oh, these are creepy drawings, okay. Let's look at the creepy drawings or whatever this is. 
Anything cool in here? Blackwood Sanatorium. Confidential. Mm, let's take a look, shall we? Medical examination patient number nine. Progression of skeletal hyper hyperostosis. I don't know what that means. Um, is this going? Okay, okay. Just want to make sure we're going in the right order. Uh, I'm guessing, I don't know what date that is. That is, again, I think they're doing the, the European dating. So this would be January 9th. I'm guessing this is like from the cave-in. This is the miners. Epidermal disc pigmentation expected after time underground. Severe curvature of thoracic region post-traumatic kyphosis. Corneal dystrophy and clouding acuity 20 out of 160. Um, January 14th, day nine, chronic kyphosis, scarring, alopecia, extreme nasal septum perforation, ectodermal dysplasia, pointing of teeth. So he's turning into, he's turning into a, um, those monsters. I can't think of the name of them. I'm drawing a blank. But like, this took a couple days. So if Emily was bitten, maybe, maybe it doesn't take effect for a few days. I mean, cause this is day nine. The first, the first record. This is five. No, that's day nine. I'm confused. This is day four. Okay, I was gonna say something's not right. This is day four. It took a good five days for, like, a significant change. When to go. That's what it's called. Hot sauce Christmas cake. This is fucking unbelievable. Jesus, hot sauce Christmas cake? Mike, you and your sayings are so weird. Earlier was fuck nuggets. Now it's Jesus, hot sauce Christmas cake. I don't understand. Day 12. So this is three days later. Intelligent... Effl effluvium, not alopecia. Maxillary canine length one inch, consistent with corneal edema, but acuity now twenty out of twenty-two. Epidermal toughening, stratum corneum. So the skin is toughening, like the guy said. The stranger said, "You can't shoot him. Their skin is so tough that bullets don't even penetrate it." Okay. So, yeah, this guy turned into a Wendigo. And it took, well, okay, wait a minute, let's look again. Can we not look again? So, it took a good, a good amount of time. So, if Emily, oh my god, go over there so I can click it. Go over there, Michael. So, the first record was day four. And granted, he probably, he probably resorted to cannibalism sometime earlier. Like, when he was still down underground. You know what I mean? But, is this, I don't understand a lot of the, um, the medical information, but is this, did he resort to cannibalism or did someone bite him? Because then again, Emily was bitten. She didn't actually... Um, she didn't actually eat or bite anybody. So... Yeah, I don't know what that means. I guess I could look it up. BRB! All right, so we figured out that basically the severe curvature of thoracic, uh, thoracic region, uh, post-traumatic kyphosis, it basically means like an extreme curvature of the spine. So like the spine is like, is like this, but like, I mean, it's not straight. You know what I mean? But there's like almost like a severe curve, like right here, almost like a hunch, but not quite. So basically he like, I don't know. He can't really stand up straight, essentially. You can see kind of in the picture, he's kind of, he kind of looks hunched over. Um, and then the corneal dystrophy, like corneal, I'm guessing his eyes, I didn't actually look it up. But the clouding of the eyes, which is what the stranger mentioned as well. Like the eyes start to cloud up first. So that's like the first 
sign. But anyways, we're gonna continue. Um, I don't really want to go in that room first. I want to see if I missed anything over here. Um, what's in this room? Oh, what's this? Oh, look, a projector! Are we gonna watch a movie? We're gonna watch a movie. Movie time! Oh, hello. Can I, like, move closer? Oh! Um... Okay, bye! Why is there footage of this? I'm just like, hmm, where did he go? Oh my gosh, look! Oh, he's hanging on the ceiling! Ah! What the fuck is going on around here? Yeah, okay. Is it just gonna play it again? Okay, yes. So, that was weird. Man, there's so many things I still haven't even looked at. Hey, Josh! Where's the... What am I looking for? Alright, let's take a look at these real quick. Romantic postcard. Postcard of Calgary with a romantic message on the back. Um, journal Cannibalism. A section of the journal about how cannibalism causes the Wendigo curse. So that's the journal of this stranger found old hotel or journal history a section of the journal detailing the history of the mountain how to trap wendigos a section about the journal of the wendigos bite restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature and becomes violent it attacks the people making the film Case study dossier. Uh, a series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. By the end, the miner has clearly become a Wendigo. So, yeah. I bet. That's a creepy film. Wolfie, why you abandoned me? Wolfie, come back. I do want to see what's up here, and then we'll continue on to that other room. See, like that, if I hadn't gone back, I would have missed that. This is where I came from, I think. I, I don't remember. I don't remember. No, I came from down here. Oh, hi, Wolfie. You're over this way. But wait, now I want to see what's in that room over there. Wolfie. Damn it. Hold on, Wolfie. Gotta go explore and investigate stuff. I'm a detective. Detective Mike. This is super creepy. Oh, this is this is where I was. Okay. Just checking. I'm a dummy. Sorry. Alright, so we're gonna go check out what that other room was. I'm a speed walker like at the mall. Huh, 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 huh. Yeah, get that workout. Get that heart rate up. Yeah. Let me guess. This is going to be locked anyways. Oh, okay. We're going to shoot it. We just resort to shooting everything, huh, Mike? The thing. You just shoot things. Oh, yeah, Mike. I'm loud. The f Who is this guy? What is happening? What is this? Whoa, you are dead. Sorry, Alfred. Oh, sorry, bottle. Oh, God. To whom it may concern. Oh, no, no, no. I want to read more. Is there anything else? I want to flip it over. Ah, see? They are dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. No escaping my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. Oops. You done messed up there, buddy boy. 
Sorry, dude. One-eyed Willy! That's what it reminds me of. Oh, okay. Bye, one-eyed Willy. Yeah. Peace out. <laughs> Alright, Wolfie. I'm coming now. You've been so patient with me, Wolfie. I appreciate it greatly. You're the best dog I ever had. That film is so plain. So creepy. Alright, Wolfie, let's do this. You got my back, Wolfie? Uh, he already went ahead. I triggered him to go ahead. Sorry, bud. Don't leave without me, Wolfie. <gasps> oh, no, no! No, 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 no. Wolfie, why are you there to protect me? The wedding is gonna get me. Wolfie, save me from the wedding out. Please. Please. Whoa. Sorry, my game just lagged. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Why am I shooting that? Why, what is it? No, he didn't feel that. He, I'm just saying he didn't feel that. Wolfie, run! Don't get attacked by Wolfie! Go, Wolfie, go! Uh, we're gonna go straight. Wolfie, come on! Oh, but I went away for Wolfie! I love how I, I'm I'm upset about my torch, but I'm more upset about Wolfie. That's the thing, we can't move. Okay. Woo! That was close. It almost went out. It almost went. Oh god damn it. Oh frick. Oh, I panicked and I hit the wrong button. No, 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 Control still. It's horrible. Come on, you son of a bitch. Shh, 
Wolf you. Where are you? Look at us. We're such a wolf hooper. <laughs> oh, look at our fingers. Our missing fingers. We're lucky oh. that it hasn't gotten infected. But I guess we only did come off like two hours ago. What the? What? What? Chicken butt. Can we get close to the bars? Uh, yeah. Just like every freaking typical horror movie. Like, oh, I was just seeing my head out the window. Oh, it's gonna grab me by the head. Oh, I'm gonna stand close to prison bars. Oh, something's gonna grab me. God damn it! It's been the triangle every time and they keep hitting the circle. Freaking crack. What a time, boys! Oh, they're all locked up. Enough of me for all you! Ah! <laughs> Damn it! Oh, I'm so bad. I'm the worst. I was doing so well earlier, like previous videos ago. God damn it! Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Language, I know. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm so done. What the hell? The one time I don't actually hit the circle, and I've been hitting the circle this whole freaking time. Frick. Oh my god. Fuck. No, I hit it! Was that not the square? Was that not the square? That was totally the square, and I hit the square. Unless I accidentally hit something before it. Oh, damn, I'm doing so bad. Everyone's judging me right now. I know it! Run. Run, Michael, run. See that dog animation? Go. Use your all my muscles. Ah, they're so annoying. Not good. Avenge you. I will avenge you. God damn those stupid things. And me not be able to hit the me not being able to hit the right buttons. God damn. Maybe if I had been actually able to hit the freaking buttons, I would have not lost my dog. I'm so upset right now, you guys. I'm so upset. He was such a good dog. I don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. My poor puppy. He was just trying to protect me. Shut up. You guys are going down. I'm kill every single one of you. Mother effers. Stop walking on the ceiling. Okay? You're really ticking me off. You need to stop. Up on the mattress. Exactly. My sentiments exactly. Stop 
that's really how it's gonna go, but we'll see. Run, Mike, run! I, I gotta give this guy props, though. Like, he had to cut his own freaking fingers. He lost his girlfriend. Like, he's being a real, a real trigger. Shooting at, but come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on, dude. Hey, if we did that, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe you should go on without me. No, we're not leaving without you. No, Chris, we are not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Come on, Chrissy boy. Chris. I mean, he saw a guy get beheaded. I mean, and he thought he saw Josh, but you know, getting his abdomen sliced open. It was pretty traumatizing. I mean, everyone is traumatized, you know? It's a horrible thing to go through. Like with Josh's whole thing, and then with um, and the Wendigos, just. Unbelievable. I don't think I'd be able to cope, to be honest. Like, in my mind, I would hope that I would be like Sam, where she just, you know, she's confident, but she, she admits that she's scared and she just leads the way and. understandable that all of these guys are just traumatized and I I feel like I would just clam up and just sit in a corner and cry like I don't think I could be as brave as these guys have been I mean granted a lot of them are being kind of annoying like Emily is being I, I don't know Emily went through a lot of crap but she's kind of annoying and um, Ashley's getting on my nerves a tad but like they've all gone through some serious crap some serious shit. Like, I'm gonna be blatantly honest language, I know. They've gone through some serious effed up shit. Like, I give them props for still functioning somewhat. What's this over here? No? Okay. Well, I just thought I'd try it myself because, you know, I'm that much stronger than you are, Sam. Sorry. All right, well, I guess we're going into the Wait. tunnels. Hey, what about this? <sighs> I mean, should, should we try it? Oh, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Just do it. Just don't hurt yourself. <sighs> Funny how it looks like a spider web. Is that intentional? Are there giant spiders down there? Okay, this is maybe the last place I would want to be right now. Yeah. So who's going first? Me, 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 me. After you. Oh, go Sam. I love Sam. She's awesome. She's probably my favorite. It's not so bad. You think this is the tunnel to the sanatorium? Of course it is. Where else would it go? The eyes glinting is kind of freaking me out. Come on, Sam. 
Chris, I know you're hurt, but you gotta move it, all right? Yeah, come I'm on, trying. Chris. Oh, God, I'm covered in so much blood. So, what's hey, the verdict? Um, hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it. But we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Oh, am I gonna make a decision? Oh, no. I thought it was gonna be like, are you just gonna move on or are you gonna close it? I'm gonna be like, hell yeah, I'm gonna close it. Though, what if we need to get out? <laughs> and that's the only way out. Oops. I just gotta catch up. Alright, this lawnmower needs to stop. Alright, windows closed. Hopefully that sounds a little bit better. Probably not. This is part where I can't wait till it gets colder so then I can just uh, not have to worry about this guy mowing the lawn every time I want to record or stream. Alright, let's walk a little bit faster so we can catch up, please. Faster, faster. Uh. Hello? Hey. Who's there? Anybody? Who? Jessica! Is it you? What the hell? Oh! Oh, I gotta know. I gotta know. Oh, this is a bad decision, but I gotta know. This is fucking crazy. Oh, there's a big drop? Jessica. Oh, no, I wouldn't go <gasps> down there if there was a big drop. Jessica, is that you? Oh, I changed my mind. I want to go back to the group, please. Hey. It's a trap. Oh, it's such a trap. Oh, it's such a trap. Oh, God. Oh, no. What? No. Oh, look, a totem. Am I gonna die? to be safe. Oh, crap. No, we're not opening it. Screw it. Screw it. Oh! oh my god, I am so glad to see you. I'm glad you're safe. Oh, hey. I mean, if it was Brittany, like, she's just Look, a little more mouth to feed. Oh, right. <laughs> Ladders, more so life to save. Make it up there. No, you no, no, know. No, I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. We should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Okay, hey, bye, Sam. Walk. Oh, okay, guys. Now that there's three of us, let's go investigate what's in that door. God, this game is so creepy. I got goosebumps and I'm a little chilly, but like, ah, oh, it's from this game. Oh, that's Josh. Oh, that's Josh. 
Oh, that was Josh. In it's like a lair thing. Oh god, here we go. We're gonna do this thing again, aren't we? jumping. Frick. God damn it. I done messed up. I done messed up. Alright, screw it. We're gonna leave it. Come on, Sammy girl. Yeah, you got this. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, we're gonna climb, I guess. I don't know. Come on, Sam! Alright, let's try jumping. Come on, girl, you can do yeah, it. Yeah, come on, girl, you got this. Oh, VRV, guys! <laughs> While I do this. Oh my god, you are so good at this. I'm so jealous. I have no upper body strength at all. <laughs> I beat you. Fucking beat you. Nice job, Sam. My gosh, she's such a badass. I love it. You are a bamf, Sam. Oh, drop down? I don't know if I want to drop down. Let's see what's over here first. Bye. Huh. Okay, then. Okay. What's up these stairs? Where do these stairs go? They go up. Can I even go up them? Oh, I can. I don't know if I should go up or down. <gasps> oh! Guess I'm staying up then. Okay. Was just about to change my decision, but never mind. Okay. Oh my god, this place is gonna explode or implode or something. And we're all gonna die in it. Um, I don't know which way to go. I'd rather get off this bridge, I guess. Where is this? What the? Oh. Skull. Oh, that means death. I remember that symbol. I mean, obviously it's a skull, so... Death, yeah! Ooh, you are a scary totem. Oh, you're like the top of the totem. Hole. Oh, no, I don't want that to happen! Oh, snap, no, I don't want that to happen. No, I don't want that to happen at all! Oh, man. I really don't want to- I don't really don't want to lose Sam. I love Sam. She's so level-headed and- oh, she's so great. She's just so great. Oh, my God. Ah! Ah! Good job, girl. Woo! That was exciting. Nope. Huh. Yeah, go ahead and grab it. Good, good girl. Good. Yes, weapon. Good job. I got a weapon. Oh, okay. Whew. I need to breathe. I forget to breathe when I'm playing this game. <laughs> All right, I guess we're dropping down. Okay. All right, anything up this way? No? Okay. So we'll just go this way then. Wendigo leaving? Yeah. That's what I'm guessing. Anyway? So there's two going? You about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. 
Okay. All right. On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording here, you guys. I don't know how close we are to the ending, but I feel like we're getting there. We're getting there slowly but surely. Um, I don't know how many parts there are. I think there's 12 total, maybe. I don't know. But we will see. Hopefully I finish it this week. Work's been kind of crazy um, with scheduling, so maybe I'll record another one tonight if I have time. But thank you guys so much for joining me. You guys are amazing and awesome and wonderful, and I love you guys. Stay frosty, my friends. Bye.